excited to be making this video right now. I haven't made a video in so freaking long. In so freaking long. So, because this year has been complete fucking shit, I bought myself a ring light for my birthday slash Christmas. Check out the lighting, check out the background, check out the setup, because from now on this shit is gonna be professional as fuck for y'all. Ha! I obviously started this YouTube channel because of Accutane, um, and you guys really seem to like it, and people keep telling me all the time to keep making YouTube videos, so I'm going to. So now let's uh, recap 2016. Guys, guys, what the hell happened in 2016? What the fuck? Everyone got fucked in the ass by 2016. Am I wrong? Or like everyone had a shit year in 2016. The world had a shit year for 2016. Like Donald Trump got elected for president and just all this shit. Also at the beginning of the year, uh, Kylie Jenner was like, you know, this is like the year of like realizing things and we were all like, okay, hey, you can just sit the fuck down like You can just take a seat. It was actually the year of realizing things Who would have thought so here we go 16 things I learned in 2016 Oh, I go. Okay, number one and I never really paid attention um, to this until this year. I really realized how fucking expensive everything is. I'm talking about like food, housing, insurance for your car, how much a car is, gas for your car, maintenance for your car, um, rent. Like just like literally like the cost of living on this planet is so expensive it makes me sick. People can no longer support themselves on a full-time job alone. I mean like a minimum wage full-time job, like a retail job or like if you work at a grocery store or some shit. That's like fucked up. I literally can't even afford to breathe. <laughs> I'll die. <laughs> it's fine. Number two from what I learned this year. Don't get into a relationship unless you plan on marrying the person. None of my relationships worked out this year, so. <laughs> Whatever, right? I think I just really didn't understand that concept until this year, that if you date someone, you either break up with them or you marry them. Unless you really, really, really like someone and are truly ready to commit and you really, really love them and really like them and want to get to know them, then just stay single, don't waste your time. Which leads into number three. Get to know someone before you date them. I've been in many relationships where I start dating someone and then I get to know them as we're dating and then like three months into the relationship, I'm like, fuck you, I don't even like you. I don't even like you. And now I'm three months in and I fucking wasted my time. And I don't even like you. I'm just saying, you know, maybe just spend a little bit more time in the friend zone or just going on more dates or just really, really, really getting to know each other, really making sure that you guys do actually like each other before you take that step to commit and be in a relationship. Yeah, take it from fucking someone who knows, okay? Just fucking trust me. Number four, everyone has three faces. The first face you show to the world. The second face you show your friends and your family. The third face you show absolutely no one. This third face is the truest reflection of who you are. You never, never, never know what is going on inside of people's minds. That really friendly guy at the bank as a bank teller could have like some girl in his basement that no one knows about. And like, I know that escalated really quickly and I know that's like fucking crazy to say, but really when you think about it, you don't know anyone truly because you cannot read their brain and you've never been in their body and you don't know what it's like to be them. You gotta always be super careful. You know, just watch out for yourself. When it really comes down to it, no one really gives a fuck about you the most except for you. So just watch out for yourself and just be careful. Number five, you are not gonna get along with everybody. It's not my job to please you and it's not my job to try to make you like me. What my job is, is to make myself happy and to do the things that I like to do and be who I am. Just because you're voicing your opinion about the fact that you don't like me doesn't mean that I need to change anything about myself or I need to stop doing what I'm doing. If you don't like me, that is your personal opinion. If you don't get along with somebody else and you don't like their personality and they don't like your personality, that doesn't mean that you need to change and that doesn't mean that they need to change and that doesn't mean that you guys have to be friends, okay? it just like, it is what it is, and not everyone is gonna get along, and not everyone is gonna like each other. 
sorry. Number six, make time for yourself. You need to be your own best friend before you do anything else. I think it's just super important to, you know, stand up strong by yourself and not be in a relationship or be in a friendship because you depend on them for happiness or love. You need to provide your own self-love and your own self-happiness so that you can be strong by yourself and then even stronger as a duo or just taking on the world in general. So those moments when you're behind closed doors and you let your third face show, there's no one around you and you can just be the truest reflection of who you are, those moments are really important because that's when you find yourself. So yeah, make time for yourself and shit. Look at me, I should be like a counselor or some shit. Like if you need guidance, step into my office and I'm gonna help you out. Number seven, I am a firm believer in energy. If you are going through a rough time right now and you don't know how you're going to get through it and you're struggling, I, in my opinion, feel like you only need three things. Peace, forgiveness, and time. If someone has passed away, if you've been through a breakup, it always, always stings so bad the first couple of months. In reality, in the grand scheme of life, 15 years from that moment, 10 years from that moment, a year from that moment, it will not hurt as bad as it does now. Life is never like a straight line. Life is always ups and downs. So if you think that what you're going through right now is super hard and this is the hardest thing that you've ever been through, um, there's probably gonna be harder things that you're gonna go through. And you also haven't experienced some of the best things that you're gonna go through. All you need to do is just keep, keep pushing, let time elapse and with every day that goes by, it gets easier and you will get through whatever you're going through. Forgiveness. If somebody did something wrong to you, you let them win when it eats you up inside and you get angry about it. People only get you angry and people only break you and hurt you if you let them. If you don't allow that person to get under your skin and if you don't allow that person to hurt you, then you win. Again, going back to the time thing, you have to keep moving forward anyway. You always have to keep moving forward. Are you gonna keep moving forward by holding in negative energy and anger and resentment? Or are you gonna keep moving forward in a positive way? And I am going to allow myself to move on because I deserve to keep going and I deserve to move on. Which brings me into the third thing, peace. Inner peace is, I cannot stress how important this is. If you have inner peace and if you are content with yourself and you are content with your situation and the world around you, you are unfucking touchable If you give yourself time to forgive people and to find inner peace and be content and recognize that sometimes you can't change things and it just is what it is, you can get through anything. Number eight, is, um, again, going back to energy, radiating positive vibes. If you are genuinely nice to people and they pick that up and they sense that like genuine nice energy, they will be genuinely nice back. I totally just realized this this year, like people are so nice if you're nice to them. But I'm just gonna add in there, don't be like fake nice to people. Like don't be like, oh my God, like I love your sweater. Like where did you get your sweater? Oh my God, that's the fucking ugliest sweater I've ever fucking seen in my life. You know what I mean? Like don't be fake, okay? Don't be a fake bitch, but just be a nice person, okay? That's all I'm asking. We don't need any more assholes on this planet. This world already sucks. Don't be an asshole, okay? Number nine, the grass is not greener on the other side. The grass is green where you fucking water it, okay, people? You know, happiness is a mindset. If you do not have a happy mind or a happy attitude, it doesn't matter if you go to the next person or the next place or the next destination, you will still be unhappy. I didn't know that until this year. So maybe you know that, maybe you don't. Now you know. Number 10, you don't know what you have until it's gone. I did not know Crystal Murphy personally, um, but I know people that did know her personally. When she committed suicide this year, it affected them so much, so much. And I can't even, Imagine going through something like that. Always cherish the things and the people around you because if you don't cherish them while they're there, um, when they're gone, um, 
they might not come back and it's going to be too late to cherish them. So just, you know, take a second to appreciate what you have and who's around you. Um, because life is so fucking unpredictable. You really just never know. Number 11, less wishing, more doing. If you want to lose weight, why don't you eat healthy and exercise? If you want to travel somewhere, why don't you save money and start to make plans to go there? If you want to date someone, why don't you just talk to them? Number 11 is if you wish for something and it's within your reach, then, um, you know, take some steps to do it instead of just wishing to do it. Number 12 is really just enjoy being young. Just enjoy the ride. Just sit down. You don't, you don't have to be old right now. You have your whole life to grow up. I think for right now, I am super content with my age. I am just going to enjoy being this age. I am legal to drink in my country. I can buy my own cigarettes. I can buy a lottery ticket. I'm set. That's all I need. Number 13. Okay, I'm almost done and then I'll shut the fuck up. Okay, I am going to throw it back right now to 2001-2002 when people like Paris Hilton and the Olsen twins were idols for young women. They were anorexic and they were like so skinny, it was insane. But that is what the ideal body type was in 2001. That's what everyone wanted. Now, in 2016, the ideal body type is not necessarily Kim Kardashian because I think we all can agree that her butt is nasty as shit. But just in 2016, the goal is to be as curvy as humanly possible. And people are going all out with these boob injections. I mean, sorry, wow. I meant, um, I meant, uh, boob implants. Wow, okay, bye. And like fake asses and like waist trainers and stuff to achieve this look that is a trend. For all you girls out there that think you need lip injections or you need that like micro threading for your eyebrows, or all that like stupid bullshit like that, that is just a trend right now. Don't ever try to physically like strain yourself to be something you're not just to fit the media's perception of what beautiful is because the media's perception of what beautiful is is always changing. 14, and I'm just gonna make this super quick. Your current situation is not your permanent situation. Okay, beautiful people, just keep going. Number 15. Okay, I'm almost done. I'm almost done, okay? I'm trying to be a mom right now. I'm trying to just get you through life, okay? Number 15, I'm almost done. You do not owe anyone an explanation for your actions or your thoughts or what you say. I feel like um, before... I was always just trying to like justify myself. Like I'm this way because, or I like this because, or I do this because, you know what? No, it, it is the way it is. I am who I am. I like what I like. I hang out with who I hang out with. I do what I want. I don't, I don't owe you an explanation for anything. And also if you're in a situation where you are unhappy or you don't like your job, you want to leave a friendship, blah, blah, blah. You don't owe an explanation as to why. You can just do what you want. You just do what makes you happy. Just do what makes you happy, okay? You don't have to explain yourself. You don't gotta let everyone know why you're doing the things you're doing. Just do what you want. Take control of your fucking life. Last but not least, number 16. Myself and the people that surround me and the people that are younger than me are in a world where social media and the internet is everything. It's really easy to feel low looking at someone else's page, looking at all the places they go, all the things they do, their clothes, what they look like, who they are, how skinny they are, blah, 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 blah. People are not perfect and the, the internet is just like trying to make people seem as perfect as possible and that's just not fair and it's just not fun anymore, like I'm over it. I don't look like this in real life. I don't look like, this is the lighting. This is my ring light. And this is about 10 pounds of foundation on my face and about 50 pounds of eyeshadow on my face and like a solid five pounds of eyelashes on my face. Do not get caught up in the internet's stupid fucking games with everyone needs to be perfect and you always need to be doing cool things and you always need to be going cool places and posting it everywhere and showing off to everyone because this it's like a huge competition. Even Victoria's Secret models, people, 
I swear to God, without the lighting, without the makeup, without the hair extensions and all that extra shit, you know, they're not the same. They're just not. And you just need to remember that and just keep doing you and focus on yourself. Don't try to be anyone that you're not. Don't get caught up in this internet's like sick competitive game. Just continue to be and do what makes you happy and do you. Sorry to go on such a long rant. Um, I haven't made a video in so long. And like I said, this, this year has just been fucking crazy. So I learned a lot from this shit year. Hope you did too. I'm just here because I want to make you laugh and I want to teach you things. So yeah, going to be making videos every week starting in 2017 and you guys can comment below on what I should do or you can hit me up on... Uh, any social media site really and tell me what you guys want me to make videos about Because I really want to keep making them. This is actually a lot of fun. That's everything. I'm done now You can close the video and y'all can go home. Bye